and anytime you hear my guitar kind of freak out and like um, you know sometimes my guitar will get louder than everything else and it'll just destroy everything in the mix sometimes the pedals kind of get out of control it's kind of like it's like I'm trying to balance a bunch of uh, cans of paint and sometimes I spill the paint that's what I call it when I fuck up really badly like that I spill the paint all over the place so it happens particularly with this pedal this pedal is a good one for it because a lot of times I have it set to this infinite setting So I can really, I can really mess a lot of things up with that pedal right there. I, I do it all the time. Um, and uh, I use this pedal in, uh, in uh, uh, what's this? Um, I use it all over the place. Pistola. I use that in the solo in Pistola. It's got this sort of like. Representing my school, this is our our uh, very toss is our, our moniker at Harvard. So yeah, that's it. That's that's my whole rig. Um, I guess there's kind of a lot of shit, but I kind of have a lot of responsibilities. When you see Kill's rig, though, that's a whole different that's a whole different ball of wax. It's got a whole different set of responsibilities. Yeah, I'll show you something on uh, If Now, Now, When. Uh, the song Promises, Promises, where I'm playing piano and then I switch over to play a guitar solo. Um, there's this, uh, this pedal the, it's called the Pog. It's kind of like a harmonizer pedal. And uh, I, use the, I use a little bit of this reverb pedal and this pedal. Okay. Guitar solo, kind of, you know. I guess I kind of get off on like the threat of like really messing something up badly and it making everything sound horrible, but it's like that kind of excitement. It's kind of fun. I don't know what it is. I kind of enjoy it. Here, this is where this is where all my guitars live in this case right here. You can see we got all these new Ernie Ball guitars. They were very very kind um, to uh, send us these guitars, so very thankful. Thankful to you, Ernie Ball. You guys kick ass. And then these are my acoustics that I've been playing on the road, uh, made by Guild. And uh, they're pretty cool. They're just really, really simple guitars, and just wanted something uh, that wasn't gonna break. <laughs> That's all. And uh, yeah, so this is Guitar Land. That's Grady, my guitar tech. Hey, Grady, uh, everybody. Grady was uh, made famous for uh, being a Dimebag Daryl's guitar tech for with uh, Pantera for many many years, so we we actually met way way back when when uh, Incubus and Pantera toured in together. The 90s. Yep, in the late nineties, <laughs> Ozfest and the uh, Black Sabbath tour. Yep. So we go way back, and uh, Grady, you've been with how, many, how long have you been with us for now? For about four years. Four years. Yeah. So we like to we like to keep our our crew guys around for a long time. Every, Which is nice. Everybody's got a, we've got a, a big family sort of vibe on the road here. And uh, and then see this tiny little, this little guy right here, this little amp. I bring this with me into hotel rooms, like so I can rock out in my in my hotel room. On my days off, I keep, keep, uh, keep writing and recording. Gotta just constantly have those wheels turning. Yes, I have been writing new music during this tour. Lots of new music for for yourself, for Incubus. For both, lots of lots of I've been I've been writing orchestral music um, for just for some new um, a new orchestral piece of music that I've been writing just for for a, for a string quartet. Um, trying to finish that actually by the end of the year, and then um, and then I'd like to record it and put it out at some point, probably early next year, and then. Um, 
and then uh, yeah, new Incubus music. I'm writing lots of new Incubus music. So new album. I don't know when it's gonna come, but you know, we're touring. We're gonna be touring for kind of a long time. So my my hope is to just write lots of music, and then by the time we we get you know to a point where we're ready to you know finish the tour, um, I'll have a lot of music written, and then. People won't have to wait five years for another album. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed seeing all this, uh, all this stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks, Cisco. <laughs>